Welcome to Top 5 in 5. It's Top 5 in 5. Welcome to Top 5 in 5. Number 5. United States Central District Court in California finally fixes the sentencing of Nigerian four-star Ramon Abbas, known as Osh Puppy, to September 21st. This is the second time Judge Otis Wright has postponed Osh Puppy's sentencing. He has been in custody since his arrest in Dubai and rendition to the U.S. in June 2020. However, despite pleading guilty, Osh Puppy will not be exempted from paying restitution. Number 4. Congratulations, Rihanna. Rihanna emerges as America's youngest self-made billionaire woman worth $1.4 billion by age 34, which brings Kim Kardashian to second place. This is the third year in a row she made Forbes' annual list of America's richest self-made woman. She's also the only billionaire under the age of 40, and the fact that she's on a singing break and that is not stopping her is a very big deal. Congratulations once again, Rihanna. Number three. Writer Essay Walter talks about her experience after watching Jeffrey Epstein's Netflix documentary. The situation made her question why rich men abuse young women and underage girls. I'm sure sometimes we ask ourselves these questions when we hear about things like this, about situations that arise when it comes to child abuse. She says she believes the pastor she experienced this with will have his own Netflix documentary one day. Not just him, but many others like him. She also believes that women of this type of abuses will begin to intentionally seek healing as these experiences can hold one for years. It is uncunning how many very similar stories by victims and tactics by predators are. It raises questions about how sane these people are. Are pedophiles mentally ill or are just evil? Why do they do the things they do? All these questions, I hope one day we'll get answers to them. Number two. Solomon Bucci is engaged. All this Twitter back-to-back -back engagement is just plenty. On the 20th of June 2022, Bucci asked Arike to marry him. Or more, what he wrote on his Twitter page was art melting and so sweet. As we all know, Solomon Bucci is a writer and gender equality activist. So as a writer, he met the standard. Congratulations once again, Bucci. God bless your union. Number one. The Secretary General of Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, Mohamed Sanusi Bakindo, died on Tuesday evening. He died at about 11 p.m. and this is certainly a great loss to his immediate family, the NNPC, Nigeria, the OPEC, and the global energy community. Earlier on Tuesday, Bakindo was honored by President Muhammad Dubari for his work at OPEC. The president said, you have indeed been a worthy ambassador of our country. However, it is sad that he died later that day. My condolences to his family. For more stories, follow us on all social media platforms at Fortress Media One and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Fortress Media.